This is a quick run through of the new Lockly native content management system and the native preview app. You'll hopefully have used one of the previous videos to download the Lockly native preview app on your phone. Uh, I've got one here on my device. And uh, you log in using your credentials on lockly.com to take you through to the Lockly native area. Now, if you tap on the Lockly native demo app that's in your account, you should be able to follow on with what I'll be showing you in this video. Clicking on that, we'll load in the uh, edit screens for the app. Just to get it previewed on the uh, app on your phone, you'll need to tap the QR preview code and scan this code using the app as shown in the previous video. Once you've done that, you'll have um, the preview app exactly like I have here on the right hand side. And what I'll do is I'll just go through some of the key features so that you get an idea of where things reside and then it allows you to try and create uh, some content of your own. First off, there are some top level information for the app at the app uh, settings. Uh, on the left hand side, I can have a look at collections and cards as well as uh, my assets. A quick uh, information on the terminology. Most of the content is in cards and the cards themselves reside in collections. Now collections can also include other collections. So you can have as much of a, an interesting hierarchy of information as you wish. Some of the things we've got full multilingual support, so I can add um, one or more languages. I can also customize uh, some of the app level information like the color and the fonts, as well as things like the draw, the thing that appears in the left hand side here. All that's available on the draw setting here. For now, I'm going to go into the top level collection. And what that'll do is load in the top level uh, information that you see uh, here. It shows you each individual collection or card as it's structured in my CMS. So I can move them up and down, I can delete, I can add. Now, the different card types are quite uh, expansive. We've got uh, specific media types like audio, image, PDF, YouTube video. Um, we've got interactive card types like widget. Um, we've also got things like discovery grid. There'll be specific videos covering those. But what I'll show you today is more the content card because that's an all-encompassing way of putting information together in an easy format. Before I do that, let's dive into one of the uh, collections here. So if I tap on this one, and just to keep things in sync, I'll do the same by tapping it on my phone. So now you see what's on the left here in the content system and what's on the right on the phone itself. Um, I can attach other things as well. You can see this little map icon here Quite often this is used for indoor navigation. I can actually pin this content to a map uh, and then tapping on that will actually open the map and key me in from where I am according to beacons. Um, again, that's a separate video on how to do indoor location. Uh, for now, let me tap on the content card at the top and similarly down here, just to show you um, what the actual information looks like in the edit screen and what it looks like on the phone. The native card type um, for the content is made up of different segments. You can see them here. And they're all of a specific type, like this is a carousel image, this is a title, a subtitle and some text, another image, and so on and so on. You can see the way that looks like when I scroll down on the phone here. When you're actually looking at the screen, quite often you'll find a toggle button for advanced mode or normal mode. And this allows you to have a look at a little bit more about the options for each one of these elements. For example, for the carousel, uh, it shows me what the delay between autoplay is and whether that needs to be enabled or not. I'll show you how that's changed. If I change that 2.5 seconds to say just 10, tap away. A couple of things, you've seen this automatically go from green to yellow. That means it's saved automatically to the cloud. This hasn't updated yet until I press the reload button on my phone. So let me just do that now. Tap reload. It's loaded it in. And uh, the rate now of this uh, advancement has gone from two and a half to 10 seconds. You can see that it's much slower than it was before. Um, still goes automatically after 10 seconds. There you go, it goes ahead. Other things I can change, I can edit as I wish. Uh, again, I can kind of uh, blah, one, two, three in the title. Um, Let's say I want to change this image or let's even do something better. Let's go to the bottom and add a new image. Then what I can do either in advanced mode or in um, normal mode, 
I can just tap on the plus here and select what I want to add to go below. And for this one, let's add in another image. And it puts in a placeholder for the image and asks me to select which one. We've got a nice asset system that allows me to choose anything I've previously uploaded or to upload a new asset from my uh, machine. So let's go for just this uh, existing image and that places it there. Now, again, to preview it on the phone, I just tap the reload button. That'll reload everything. And once it's done, when I scroll to the bottom, there you go, that image is there. Um, it should have also changed the title at the top of my blah, yes, there we go. So that's how easy it is to change the content. Let me go back in the editor here and do the same here. So I'm all the way back to the top and I'll show you some of the different types um, of collections. So I tap on news items and what you'll see here is that the format of this is slightly different. It's a uh, kind of more of a image and a title at the left as opposed to uh, card type with the image underneath it. All of these are governed by the type of cover and a cover is defined uh, for each collection or card and I'll show you this one here. This is, we're in news items here so let me go back to the top and kind of show you news items which is this one here. You can see this is what we call a full bleed. It's got the image there. Full bleed means that it covers everything completely. If I go to one of the cards within this collection. Let's go to that card with the picture and have a look at that cover. Let me bring it up on the phone the same way. You can see that this has got an avatar cover type. An avatar means that put the image on the left, title there, and whatever description I have underneath it. There's quite a few different options as well. There's info card, uh, list item. I'll allow you to play with that so you have a look at what they look like. The other elements show you the uh, different selections you'll have the capability of adding new collections and new cards. Again, if I'm adding something, I can either add a new one or choose one of my existing cards. This means I can actually have different paths to the same content, which means I can have uh, quite a nice structure to my app. If I want to link anything to a particular location, a beacon, say, or GPS, then I go to whatever item of interest, that could be a collection, it could be, let's say, this YouTube card. So I want to pin this YouTube video to, let's say, an iBeacon. I tap Location. I click Add on the beacon. I type in the details, and that's done. Similarly, I can actually link it to a geolocation area just by setting the uh, pin on the map. I can also enable it to be visible on a physical web beacon as well so that uh, I can use Chrome browsers to pick up that when I'm nearby. Lots more available on YouTube in terms of more details on car types, but I hope this video gives you a brief overview of the structure of the Lockly Native content management system and how to actually use it and preview it on your device.